So I am so excited to share with you how to create these beautiful, rich art prints out of the photographs I showed you how to take last week. If you missed that one, make sure you go back because you definitely need to start with a nice, clear, bright photograph before I show you how to edit it and then how to add this white trim so that it is ready to send off to the printers. Okay, now I think it is always wise to start off with a copy of your photo. That way, if you need to go back and use the original for something, you don't have to undo everything you've made. So I'm starting with a copy here. And then I am simply just going to use the normal editing software that comes with my Windows. Honestly, I have used a few different programs and I find this to be the most direct and most simple for what I like to use it for. Whatever program you choose to use, the gist of it will be the same. I like to start out by making sure my photo is nice and straight. And then I go in and go ahead and crop out all the unnecessary. And the reason being is because I don't want anything else to distract me. When I'm looking at editing this photo, I want it to be as large on my screen as possible. And I don't need any other background colors, shapes, objects, whatever to get in the way. I'm not comparing it to anything but itself. On a side note, it is a really good idea to have your original piece sitting right next to you so you can use it as a reference while you're editing. Basically what you want to do is punch your piece up. You want the brights to be brighter, you want the darks to be darker, you want it to be saturated without being too heavily saturated, and then you want to go in and check your details. I like to sharpen it just a little bit so that you do get a little bit of feel of the canvas and the print, but not too much that you want it to be all granulated and everything. But it shouldn't be too difficult considering you've already got your nice clear photograph taken all you want to do is just kind of really emphasize whatever needs to be emphasized. You might even need to mess with the tone or the hue slightly depending on the time of day, but hopefully you came out with something that is pretty true to color and just needs a little extra oomph. Take a little time. Make sure to check your work. I like to zoom in and out and really check my colors and make sure that everything is coming through because sometimes certain highlights or even lowlights can get washed out. That's why if you notice I prefer to use the histogram more so than the actual contrast knob to actually heighten the contrast and that's because I feel like I get a little bit more precision using that one. Then last but not least, make sure you save your work. So now we are going to use a free program called paint.net that I discovered a few years ago that is totally awesome. As soon as you open it up from your desktop, it'll look like this and you simply drag and drop your photograph in there and you'll want to select open instead of add layer because add layer means that it will add multiple layers of a photograph onto a single image. Just so you know, all the editing we just did can be done on this program too. I just simply happen to prefer the Windows one. So go ahead and pop up to image and then go down to resize. Now what we want to do here is have the highest possible resolution, which is pixels per inch, for the size. Now first you have to stop and think about how large you want your image. I'm going to be formatting this for an 8 by 10 print, which means that I want my image around 7 by 9 to give it a nice little white border. Now, instead of going in and actually changing the width and the height on this, which will just keep the same pixels per inch, I have found a little trick. And basically, what I do is I go in and I press the little up button on the resolution and just watch the resolution keep scrolling higher and higher and higher and keep your eyes down below on the width and the height because that will get lower and lower and lower as the resolution per inch gets higher. Now I just basically keep going until I am just about the size that I want to be. It could be well over 260 or 300 dots per inch, which is what a lot of people want. But hey, I feel like the more resolution, the better. I'm never going to complain about having a clearer image. Now, as I said, I want my image to be about 
nine by seven inches however it does not have to be absolutely exact as long as it is really close to that that's going to be just fine we're going to have the paper size be exactly eight by ten inches but the image we just want to make sure it's got a nice border some people like to have a much bigger border some people like to have a thinner one but for an eight by ten image usually about half an inch around each side i.e one full inch is pretty good all right, so now that those numbers are about as close to seven by nine as I want them, and I've got a really nice high dots per inch resolution, I'm gonna go ahead and save the image as is. Now let's head back up to image, but this time we're going to go to canvas size. Now we already know that resolution is nice and high. We can ignore that, but now we want to deal with how big the canvas size is, as I just said. So you see how we've got these close to seven by nine inches. I want to make them exact. I want that to be eight inches wide by exactly 10 inches tall. And I want to make sure that I am centered to the middle. So if it's not already, select the middle one and hit okay. Voila, a white border perfectly centered around your image. Oh my goodness, can you even believe how awesome this is? Once you're done, simply go up to save as, and I recommend saving it as the actual size of the print that it is. That way, upon cursory glance, you can just lock and load your cart whenever you are ready to order prints. Now, another thing that I have learned is if you want to do this for multiple sizes, like for example, this one is an eight by 10 print. I also had this available as an 11 by 14 print. I go back and I completely reformat it starting from the beginning with the edited image we started with. The reason being, if you go back in and try to hit undo or resize and reconfigure this one that you just worked on, to me and my history, it has not worked out. It has always skewed something some numbers have always gone off so every time I'm doing different size prints I literally just go and start all over again with the printmaking process but of course it only takes like five minutes so why wouldn't you Oh, I am so in love with these prints. Look at how gorgeous and true to life they are. Oh my goodness, it is an artist's dream when you get it right. And if you need one of these absolutely fabulous Farina Bohemian Goddess prints to bring a little aloha into your space, look below for links. Thanks for being here, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.